Thank you guys. We're here with the newest Indy 500 champion, Marcus Ericsson. Marcus, I brought out Team Sweden for you. What do you think? I love it. This is like <laughs> perfect. You know, Swedish national team in hockey, and the back is even better. <laughs> Peter Forsberg, he's a <laughs> legend. My idol growing up. You know, I'm I a love big it. hockey fan, and, and Peter is just a legend in Sweden. All about Trey Kroner today, yeah, right? Yeah, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> How has this victory played back in your home country? Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. You know, it's been you know headline news everywhere on, on TV, on, on internet, on newspapers everywhere. And uh, I even got a message from the king, congratulate me. So the king of Sweden took notice. So it's been it's been big. Wow, fantastic! <laughs> what was last night like? I know you had what three hours of sleep. Uh, Take two, me through the I celebration. <laughs> two hours of sleep. Uh, what was the celebration? Nah, I mean it was a long day at the track after the checkered flag. You know, with all the media and stuff there, and then. Took a quick shower and then went straight back to downtown for dinner because my family and my girlfriend and some of my sponsors and manager was here. So I was just enjoying the moment with them. And then, yeah, had a couple of drinks, tried to go to bed, couldn't sleep. I was too <laughs> excited. So I was lying in bed, like, just looking up and just trying to realize what I just had done that during yesterday. And then when I finally fell asleep, I slept for two hours and I woke up again and I was like, I'm too excited to sleep. <laughs> so I, I've never had that. You're completely exhausted, but you cannot sleep anyway. When you were sitting in the car, when the race was red flagged, what was going through your mind? First, I was just angry because I was like, I couldn't believe that it was a red flag and I was so close to winning the race. And then I sort of switched and I was like, hey, this is the biggest race in the world. It's not supposed to be easy to win the biggest race in the world. So this is just another challenge that I had to go through. And I was just and super laser focused, trying to figure out a plan how to win this thing. And I just executed that plan to perfection. So yeah, it was, it was tough though. Those minutes sitting there during the red flag was some of the longest minutes of my life. Marcus, you've had a lot of success, Formula One and now in IndyCar, but you've kind of flown under the radar. You think maybe this is the coming out moment. Now you top the Indy uh, points lead too. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. You know, I, I've been a bit under the radar. I had a really strong season last year, finishing six in points. And, winning two races, so that was a breakthrough year for me. And I feel like I've been stepping up even more this year. And obviously after this weekend, uh, leading the championship. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying that momentum that we have now, and I just need to make sure we continue that. Goal number two, right? You got the 500, now a title. Exactly, that's the thing, you know, the, the 500 is obviously the biggest race for us and, and to win that is, is a dream, but uh, now when we've done that, we need to focus on the next goal and that is that championship and we're definitely in the mix now, so yeah, can't wait to go to Detroit, which is one of my favorite tracks. It's where I got my first win in IndyCar, so let's do it. Marcus, congratulations, thanks for the time and go Sveria. Thank you, go Sveria. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you in the studio.